Uh, welcome to another presentation at JNB on 2018. Uh, my name is Elvesio, but you may call me Elvis. I come from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, a little country in South America. You may have heard about. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, the alternative layouts in Joomla. It's a feature that's been there for quite a while, but not everyone uses it or knows how to use it. And to tell you, uh, as a matter of fact, it's a little bit tricky because uh, there are some uh, documentation out there that's not updated. So, but anyway, let's try to go through this. Uh, it's going to be like a class today, and uh, we're covering alternative layouts for modules, alternative layouts for components, and alternative layouts for uh, menu items. There's also out there alternative layouts for categories, but for some reason, and I really haven't gone into it, it doesn't work. So I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's something that I'm missing, but uh, as I haven't used it per se, I prefer to use a menu item, so I really haven't, haven't covered that. So I'm not going to cover that now. So uh, this is, as I was saying before, this is one of the coolest features that I find in Joomla because I am a graphic and web designer. And with alternative layouts, I have a bigger possibility of changing in an easier way the looks and feel of my, any project that I am working in. Um, you may have heard of overrides and alternative layouts. Who is new to Joomla here, please? Anyone? No one? Good. Okay, thank you. Everybody's used uh, an override at some point. No? Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we have what uh, we can, the difference between override and alternative layout is very, very simple. An alternative layout is an override that you can use in specific areas of your choice inside a project. An override is something that will change the whole website all at once, once it's done. Why is it important to know that? Because an override is how you start to create your alternative layout, okay? <coughs> so this is the basic recipe to create an alternative layout. You have to be very well acquainted with HTML or in CSS. Because otherwise, uh, you will be a little bit lost because there's no uh, what you see is what you get to create an alternative layout. You really have to go into code. So you really have to know how to use HTML and CS, CSS to format your layout, okay? If you know a little PHP, it's going to be a plus because then you can make more wonderful things. I am a graphic designer. I really don't know PHP. But I know a little bit here and there after looking so much into Joomla code, so I started learning. But anyway, it's something that I live on the side. So it's my plus side. Uh, patience. Yes, you will need it. Because if you're not used to looking into the Joomla code, you will have some time, you will take some time to understand what's going on and where it's going. Okay, because the core of Joomla, I mean, I'm sorry, the layouts, in, the basic layout, the core layouts in Joomla, they are a mix of PHP code and HTML. But once you start, that's why it's important to understand the HTML, because once you look at, into, at it, oh, this is HTML, this is PHP, this, what is this? But after you study, you will know whatever that is. And a code editor, as I said before, you cannot use any what you see, WYSIWYGI features for, for creating an alternative layouts. 
So far, as long as I know, there's none. That might be something out there that I'm not really aware of because I, I find it so much quicker to do, open up my Joomla backend and do it on the backend with the HTML, so I really haven't looked into it. So any code editor you have, or you can use the core Joomla code editor that you find in the backend. So this is how it's done. It's the basics. Uh, it all starts by creating an override. So uh, if you go to your administrator backend, you go to extensions, templates, and then templates again, and you click on your templates, details, and files. You will click on the tab create overrides. You click on the module or component, or you want to create the override, and inside your template folder, a new HTML folder is created if it doesn't already exist. Now let's go. I've stopped the presentation now. And now we start looking at the code. This is a website, a uh, local website I put up just as a sandbox so you will understand. The first thing we're going to do is create an alternative layout for a module. We have the latest news module published on the home page here. You all know it. it. What it does, it gets uh, whatever the settings you make in your back end of the latest articles that have been published, and they, it will create a list of how many items you want. I created a list with these four articles that I have in my Joomla installation. So now I'm going to go to the administrator. Suddenly, the fonts are very small here. Oops, sorry. I need my glasses. Hold on a second. Much better. So I'm creating, uh, <coughs> first I'm creating an override for our latest modules. No, I'm sorry, latest news module. So what I do is go into templates, then templates again, and click on it. And I'm using the Protostar template right now. So I click on the taste and files, and you have this screen. OK. So uh, I go to Create Overrides, and I'll be looking for the module that I want. It's right here. Article new, latest. Boop, click on it. And once I do it here, there's an HTML folder. And I have inside of it mod mod arcos layout folder and inside here I have the default PHP file that uh, contains the code of my uh, the module that's displayed that on the front end so if you see it's just an or an ordered list uh, code it's very simple okay so what we're gonna do we got some and we're going to add some extra sauce, so it's going to be displaying the latest news with a, new, a few extra features. Okay? So uh, what we have here, UL class for CSS, and then a PHP for each, then a Lee, 
So the PHP for each, if I'm not mistaken, it will repeat this code so until how many times we, we you use it. So now let's make a change for that. First thing I'm going to do is rename this file. It's important that when you create, when you rename the file, you use no space and no underscore or no hyphens, okay? So it's got to be all like that. You will understand later why. So you see that I have it changed right over there. Here I, ha I have it ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this part of the code. Let's see. And replace it over here. OK. And then I will save it. Good. If I look into my website and nothing has happened because I have not created an, an override. I have I mean creating a an alternative layout. So now we're going to start the, doing the magic on the background. So things will be changing. Back to the sandbox. As we have a shorter time now, I'm going to, I'm going to jump ahead. So this is my, uh, the settings for my module, okay? So what I have to do now is, first of all, I go here where there's layout, and I have created my alternative layout, and I have done all the changes that I must have done, and now I choose it here, okay? I save and close. I go back to extensions because this has been pre-prepared. Pre so
I added this CSS at the end of my template CSS file. I had this. Okay. Let me just double check. There's something missing here. So, just a second. Responsive. Okay, so uh, what I did here is instead of having just an ordered list of the titles of the articles that I have, I got the image that I put inside the image and links uh, settings of my article, and then I have the title underneath. There's something missing here. Let me see if I can figure it out. Oh, I guess what I know what it is. Yes, uh, there's something going on here that I'm not, I don't know. So, this is pretty much it. I'm sorry it's not complete. And uh, let's move on to the next alternative layout. Uh, to tell you the truth, this is something that I do not do just by hand. I have a recipe, and I'll let you know later where you can find the recipe. I have it on my website, okay? <coughs> so. Components. Let's do the same. Let's go back to our templates. I have created here an override inside article, and I got it, I called it 
article with disclaimer.php, okay? So what I did is, this is the full PHP file, and uh, at the end, I added this piece of code. You see? It's a disclaimer. So what happens is, When I enter an article, this is not supposed to appear on every person. Mm -hmm. When I enter an article, for example, I have this one, creating a, 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 turn, a menu alternative layout. I get to see down at the bottom that piece of information that I have just added. Why is it there? Because when I had my article created, I went here in options and I chose to use a different, an alternative layout. So if I, I remove it and use it the default, the disclaimer is gone. It's easy as that. Now let's take a look at creating an override for menu items. How do you create a <coughs> an alternative for a menu item? What you do is go to con content. In this example, I'm creating for a category. So if I go into my HTML file, I see it here. Okay, so you will notice that all those files, they have blog at the beginning and the other ones have default, okay? So what happens is Joomla comes with two, with the default layout and a blog layout, which is an alternative layout. What happens is when we need to create
and a specific blog, we have over there two choices, category blog and category list. Category list is that the full file that we have with Joomla. And the category blog is a core alternative layout. And we can create other category, uh, others, uh, alternative layouts the same way. So what happens is we have here Let's rename So you notice that besides the default, we have the default articles and the default children, and they are separated by underscore. That's why in the main file, you cannot have underscore or space or whatever, because then Joomla will read it in a different way. So in this case, when we rename, we go here, and we add Great. And here. Okay, that's it. So, if I go here at any moment and I add a new menu item, I'll take a look at articles and I will see nothing new because that's not enough to create the menu item. We have to have one extra step. That extra step is adding an XML file. Where do we get that XML file? It's very easy. If you go to the core content, Components, con content, views, category, oh, wait, sorry, no. here, yes. Let's copy this blog XML file, copy, and then we go into our HTML folder where we are creating our alternative layouts. And we paste it there. And of course, we will rename it. Oops, sorry. So we now have a renamed XML file. We open it in any code editor. I, will use, I like to use Sublime Text. So what we have to do is change. You see the over here in the line number three where we have blog. We change it to rename layout. It's the same name of the file we created, and then we change it over here.
and then we come and get. These are constants, and we go into our Joomla backend again. And we go to language <coughs> overrides. We filter to English administrator or whichever administrator language you're using. It can be any other one. We create a new one. So this is going to be So if we go now, menu, main menu, and we got a new one, we got blog rename layout. If you want to change the description, you get that uh, constant as well, and then you create an override for that. And there you are. You have a, an alternative layout for your category as well. OK? Oh, so now I know you've seen a lot, and you got nothing because it's been a little bit crazy here. So I have, if you go to my website, which is and you go to blog, you'll find the tutorials for all these presentations, okay? It's hlvc.design slash en slash blog, okay? You don't have to copy the tutorial right now. <laughs> so uh, sorry for the mess. And uh, that's pre pretty much it. Do you have any questions? So, thank you very much. You find us. I told you the tutorials can be found here, and you can find me through all the social networks. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful conference. <laughs>